welcome once again ladies and gentlemen to today's program having a blessed day that the lord has allowed us to see and that we may go or go through his word or get to understand what he has for us today now last week we were looking at uh, 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 our vision and uh, we were saying a couple of things regarding the vision of a man and uh, many things were discussed in our last program and in that program we were able to to to, to come up or rather be able to understand uh, 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 a couple of things today uh, uh, as as uh, as 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 i make a recap of our last program we say that we say we say that a vision is an ideal image or, or or rather a vision is said to be an image of an ideal life so it is a reflection of an ideal life a, a life in reality what is anticipated to be what is expected to be in the days to come now allow me to start by reading the word of god in the book of philippians chapter number one uh, verse number six the bible says being confident therefore of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of jesus christ now you understand that god has 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 predestined the life of every man God has put in place the life of every man. God has, has, has prepared the life of every man. Basically, we say God has a blueprint of a life of every person. God is the architect of every person under the sun. That is why you should understand you have not been born by mistake. You have not been born by any, any, anything or for bad reasons or for bad purpose. But you have been born by by, by a purpose, by a reason that you need to fulfill something under the sun. For you to actualize your vision, you need to understand many things. You need to know what should I do? How should I do it? Where should I be doing it? And uh, so that you may be able to, to, to realize or be able to see the ideal image of your, vig of your vision. The ideal me image of your dreams. The ideal image of the things that you are supposed to be seeing in your life therefore having a vision is being in charge of the life of other people having a vision ladies and gentlemen is having a being in charge of the lives of other people why it is you that is becoming a problem solver of the lives of other people it is you becoming the changer of people's life it is you becoming the the, 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 the light of the lives of other people that is why we say having a vision is being in charge of the lives of other people we are also saying that having a vision is discovering the problem that you are born to solve when you have a vision you need to understand what is this problem that i was born to solve what are these things that i was born to solve who are these people that i was born to help where was i born to create a change where was i born to command an inf an, an, an influence what was i born for why was i born for that's why i told you last time we are not born in this world to celebrate the day we were born but we were created or we were born to celebrate the purpose for which we were born for that is why that is pursuing your vision ladies and gentlemen now today i want us to look at the things that we need not to do what i what i'm calling today's title for the vision as as as, as the errors and the mistakes of 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 our we of, of 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 achieving our visions or rather errors and mistakes in our vision or rather we are saying the do's and don'ts of achieving your vision because many of us may have failed in one way or the other some of us are really pursuing are really pursuing i really want to get to their dreams really want to achieve something really want to get something that they have always desired to have but that there are mistakes they have done there are things they have done but then i want to bring to your light today so that you may understand why is it that we fail to get to a vision or why is it taking us long to realize our vision now number one thing ladies and gentlemen i want to talk about is uh, is that uh, for you to understand that these things are very important you must you must go through the process that is number one you must go through the process going through the process is one thing you need to do 
They, we are saying that there are do's and don'ts. So this is our do. There are things you need to do for you to get to your vision. There are, there, 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 there is a process you need to follow for you to get to a vision. There are things you cannot avoid. There are places you cannot avoid. There is something you can never avoid. You can never avoid education to achieve your vision. You can never avoid uh, advice to achieve your vision. You can never avoid uh, information. To achieve your vision there is a process ladies and gentlemen that you need to go through step by step and every long achievement every long status every 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 good status you see today started with a step of a process everybody you see and, and, and admire today there is a process that this person has gone through there is a step that this person has gone through these are things that you need to know and you should understand that we need to go therefore you must be willing and ready to go through the process accordingly because if you are not ready to go through the process accordingly then there are things you are likely going you are likely to miss along the way because for example there is no way you can prepare tea by beginning to to roast the sugar and the tea leaves there is no way you can prepare tea in that manner. There is a stipulated process of preparing tea. That is that process when you follow it properly. You are going to have a very nice cup of tea as you enjoy it. Therefore, the process of getting something better, the process of getting to your vision must be followed well and accordingly. Because there are no shortcuts. To your fame ladies and gentlemen there are no shortcuts you cannot be saying i really want to be a great man i want to be a great star i want to be a great person i want to be a prominent ma 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 man of god i want to be a prominent uh, a prominent uh, singer i want to be a prominent epicd i want to be a prominent uh, politician but then you don't want to go through the process process ladies and gentlemen has to be followed and you can there are no shortcuts to your fame there is nothing that comes so easy you must understand that everything does not come to you easy everything has to go through the process and there is also no climbing up unless you begin at the bottom you cannot just find yourself up unless you want to even a bird even a bird has to flap her, its wings to go up it doesn't just find itself in the sky even an aeroplane has to eat has to hit its engine so that it can take off it doesn't just find itself in the sky there is no going up unless you begin at the bottom that is the process of going to your heights there is no success without working hard some of us think that they can just get they, shall, they can just get things easily without working hard. There is no, there is nothing that will come so easily to you or easily into your bosom, easily into your hands, easily like that without working hard. You need to work hard. Whatever area you are working in today, whatever thing you are doing today, ladies and gentlemen, you need to work hard. You need to put more effort. You need to put your heart. You need to put, you need to allow yourself to go through the process of learning, to go through the process of pain to go through the process of hardship to go through the process of understanding to go through the process of the things that are needed because many people want to be but they don't want to go through the process the process is demanding the process is demanding it may be demanding of you of many things things you don't like people you don't like places you don't like areas you don't like but ladies and gentlemen there is a price you need to pay for the process because if you really want to achieve and want to get the things you have always desired ladies and gentlemen you need to pay the price because the process desires that you pay the price not so many people want to pay the price everybody wants to say i want to be like so and so i admire so and so i like so and so but you don't know how these people got to those places these people go there because they paid the price of getting there but many people don't want to get to those places they don't want to pay the price of getting to those places that is why you see they struggle getting there because they are avoiding the costs the cost of getting to those places may be high but then paying that price you pay once and you enjoy later we want to admire people and how they get there is what we don't want to subscribe to we just want to admire people say ah that man is a wonderful player i love his skills ah 
I love the way this man sings. I love the way this man preaches. I love the writing of this man. I love her. I love this. I love that. I love this. But then you don't want to subscribe to the cost that brings this uh, this glamour, this glory, this goodness, this greatness that is happening, that is in this man's life. We must be ready to pay the cost because if you are not ready to pay the cost and the paying the cost it 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 it, it, it involves pain because uh, the, the, there are times you will endure pain there are times you go through pain there are times you go through luck there are times you go through suffering there are times you go through hardship there are times uh, your education becomes the important thing there are times people will sit you down and advise you there are times you need to sit down under someone there are times you need to go to places in solitude there are times you need to get things in place there are times you need to un you know there are times you need to be to, to, to put yourself to invest yourself to invest your energy to invest your things so that you may be able to receive ladies and gentlemen the things that are ahead of you paying the price you need to be ready to pay the price being motivated by someone is good by trying to be someone is not good because you need to be yourself you are motivated by the way Michael Jackson sings and the way Michael Jackson has been doing things. But you cannot be Michael Jackson. You have to be yourself. Being yourself is that you pay your own price of being to that level. But you cannot go to his own level because your level might be higher than his level. You can be a better person than him because you were born different. Your genes are different. Your, uh, uh, your atomic configuration is different. The way God has configured you is different. You cannot become someone. Therefore, being inspired, being inspired by someone, being motivated by someone, it is good. But uh, don't overlook the cost of getting there. For you to attain your vision, you have to ensure that you are ready to go through the process and pay the price. Because if you are not ready to pay the price, you will not be able to get the things right. Now, the second one, the second one is that you don't tell people your dreams. You don't tell people your dreams because by telling people your dreams and visions, ladies and gentlemen, it is killing or rather making it impossible for you to achieve because many people have have dreams they have visions they have aspirations but when you tell people it's like big bragging about your achievement and when you're beginning to brag about an achievement you have not achieved you begin to fail because it is parading your achievement before its right time it's like saying counting your chicks before they hatch so you don't count your chicks before they hatch. You just wait for them to, to hatch first. Take care of them and then count the chicken. Don't count the chicks. So I want you to be, I want you to be, I want you to be very careful. Oh, don't tell people your visions. Don't tell people your dreams. Because after telling people, you realize that you lose the morale and the energy to pursue the vision. Why? It feels like I'm done. I've already achieved I've already gotten. Therefore, you should be you should begin to avoid telling people that I have achieved. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to have this. I want to be there. I want to do this and that and this and that. When you tell people, the energy, the morale to pursue that dream goes down. It is it fades down. That is why people fail to people take long to achieve. People fail to achieve their visions. This is a don't. Don't tell people. Write down your vision and pursue your vision don't allow yourself don't pursue them don't go after them telling people telling people about them that one is going to make you fail now you realize that not everyone will be happy when you share a vision with them there are people who are called vision killers dream snatchers when you tell people about your vision and your dreams, they start snatching, they start working against them. They start lying, praying against them. They start making things difficult. They make life very difficult. They even make the process so hard for you to achieve. Why? You were so good at telling them about your vision. And then it has become so difficult for you to achieve that same vision. So, don't tell people about your vision. Because there are people that will really even want to copy the very thing you are dreaming about. The very vision that you have. 
by telling people you be, make the process very difficult you make things difficult for you ladies and gentlemen keeping quiet helps you to concentrate in achieving your vision keeping quiet ladies and gentlemen it helps you to concentrate to concentrate to concentrate in achieving your vision it makes you know that this is the process this is how i need these are the things that i need this is the places that i need to go these are the things the people i need to talk to this is what i want these are the things i need and uh, you know you begin to put your concentration clear and by so doing you realize that you are moving slowly by slowly towards achieving your vision but then when you divert from that when you divert from that and begin to tell people you realize that your concentration goes down and then you will not achieve you are, or rather it is going to take you long to achieve your vision only tell people when you have achieved your vision only tell them now ladies and gentlemen i am proud to introduce to you my brand new car that i, in, I invented i am i'm proud to introduce to you the things that i have done my new company my new music the things that i have done you know you're introducing people to an achieved dream to an achieved vision not through the things you want to tell them that you will achieve in the days to come learn to tell people what you have achieved not what you are planning to achieve because your achievement is not on the blueprint it is tangible thing ladies and gentlemen allow me to stop here we'll be looking at more other things more other errors and mistakes we do in our vision in our next program but today allow me to stop there because of time and i know by listening and uh, subscribing to this program you are going to understand many things that you have not uh, you have not known why the visions of many people have not been realized until today and the reason why they are you are taking long not to get there or why you have not gotten there so may god bless you may god bless you as we meet in our next program shalom shalom shalom